everyone, in this video, we're going to talk about function notation. So this is an example of a function. So this notation that we have here is read as the value of f at x, or pretty much like we can go ahead and say f of x is equal to 2x plus 5. Now, the f here represents the name of the function. Now, it doesn't have to be f only. It can be uh, a of x, b of x, z of x. And then the whatever's inside the parentheses here is the input or the domain of the function. So this can also, this may not be x also. It can be f of t. It can be any letter in the alphabet. Now, on the right side right here, 2x plus 5 is the output or range. Now, let's have some examples here. We are given a standard notation, and we're supposed to change this to its equivalent function notation. So pretty much like in a function, uh, we are just supposed from, we're given an equation or standard notation, we just have to change this y into f of x. So then we can rewrite this to its equivalent function notation as f of x is equal to negative 5x plus 8. So pretty much just change the y to f of x. So this one right here, that would be f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Again, just change the y, the equation, I mean the y in the equation is f of x and then just write the output or the range part right here. Okay, so let's have another example here. Let C of X is equal to 3X be the cost in dollars of buying X ticket. Using the given function that we have here, C of X equals 3X, represent the following situation. First, it costs $3 to buy one ticket. So if I were to represent this as a function, I can go ahead and write C of one, because remember, the X represents the the uh, the number of ticket that you uh, buy. So that the, it says it's one here. So I go ahead, go ahead and say C of one is equal to three, and that makes sense because if we have if X is one, we put in one here and we put in one. So three times one is three. Now try this one out on your own. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So um, it costs $12 to buy four tickets. So I go ahead and write C of four. Because again, remember, the X represents the number of ticket. So that's four tickets in this problem is equal to 12. And that makes sense because if you have three, if X was four, that's uh, four, you bought four tickets. So plug in four here. So three times four is 12. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Now let's have another example here. So let's take this first one right here. We are supposed to translate the following statements into its equivalent coordinate form. So in this first example, I have f of negative 2 is equal to 3. Now please remember that this in uh, whatever's inside the parentheses is the input or the domain or pretty much like the x. So if we want to change this into its equivalent coordinate form, that would be negative 2 and the y is 3. So pretty much this is the input, negative 2. The uh, output is 3. Now try this 3 problem out on your own. Okay, so the first one right here would be, so that would just be a positive 4 and 7. And then this one right here would be 0 and negative 8. And then this one right here is negative 9 and negative one. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next one. We're given a graph and we're supposed to determine the f of negative four. So what does it mean? So whenever, whenever x is negative four, remember this is f of x. So when x is negative four, so negative one, two, three, four, that's negative four. So when x is negative four, what is the value of the range? So that means this would be um, the value for, or I mean the output would be 1, 2, 3, 4, would be a negative 4. So when x is negative 4, the y is negative 4. Now try these three problem out on your own. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So when f, uh, f of 0, what is the value for that? So let's take this one here, f of uh, 0. So then our y is negative 2. 
because that's a negative one, negative two. Now, if we have an f of negative three, so negative one, negative two, negative three, so let's uh, trace it on the graph. What is the y value for this? So that would be a one, two, and three. That's a negative three. And if we have a five, so f of five, so the x was five. Now let's look for the value of y, and that would be a negative one. Did you get these answers right here? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.